Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through this step, set organization wide defaults and create a role hierarchy. This is the third step in the project, protect your data in Salesforce. In this video, I'll explain some of the key concepts for understanding the business reasons why you're pressing all of these buttons that you're going to be pressing. And I'll show you how to configure your child playground as well. So that way, by the end of this video, you will be able to pass this step and ultimately earn this badge with confidence. Okay, you now have assigned users to the current roles. This is that we just did that in the previous uh, step in the previous video. The meeting moves on to data access review and discuss what individual records users should be able to view and edit in each object they have access to on their profile. You have established a baseline level of access so that users have the correct level of access to the records they need. However, okay, the discussion now concerns how this will impact directors and VPs who will no longer have the access that they need. Honestly, th this, is, this is all really important stuff. It all comes up in the security specialist super badge, but it's not exactly clear how this is tying into this business case that was just presented here. But let's just roll with it and get practice creating these things because it's going to be helpful. I'm going to sort of speed through this after I do it once, okay? So from setup, we're going to click Object Manager. And then we're going to click Create and choose Custom Object. And then we're going to fill it in with this information. It starts with a vowel sound. It's a data type and allow reports and allow search and click save and new. All right, we're going to do this again, this time for the interviewer one. And now we're going to create a field on the position custom object that we're going to call status. So we're going to go from this page that we just were in we're going to click field and relationships. If you messed up, I really messed that, but if you, in the, in the left previous step, if you click save and new, then just click cancel and then go back to your object manager and then, you know, go down to the, what are we in here? Position custom object. And then you got it from here. Okay. Field and relationships. Click new and we're going to do pick list type and then click next. And now we're entering the field label. It's going to be called status. And then they're going to have enter values with each separated by a new line. So new, open and closed. And select restrict pick list to the values defined in the value set. That's selected. And then click next, next and save. So again, the reason you would want to From setup, see this should be a new a new set of instructions here. I'm disappointed this is number nine. We don't need 12 steps, that's too many. From setup, click the home tab and enter sharing settings in the quick find box. And then click edit. Set the applicant interview and position default internal access to private. Okay, so right now it's at public read, right? Now it's private, which means only people who are specifically granted permission to see it will be able to see it. That is the organization wide default settings for this object. By the way, sometimes you could search back in here and you'll be like, oh look, it still says public read write. That's because it takes a second or so for the this operation has been initiated. Usually once you refresh the page though. Um, 
you can then, and now it's, now it's updated. Now we're going to create the role hierarchy. So to do that, we're going to go roles, set up roles, expand all, and now we're going to add in these folks. Now we're going to assign users to their roles. And all we've done so far is just created the roles. We have not yet associated any of our users with those roles that we've created. So to do this, we're going to enter roles, click set up roles, expand all, we've done that. And we're going to go through and assign. So next to VP of services, we're going to click assign. And we're going to select Noah Larkin and we're going to move him over and click save. Assign change to all users. Noah Larkin, add and click save. And we'll repeat this process for the rest of these roles. Okay, now. Yeah, make sure you assign Ted Kim to the recruiter role and you to the customer support role.